Hey, Mike, it's Ira, and we are over here on Del Rio. Going to go ahead and take a video of this home for you. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We will check out the outside of it. Now, this is called a Corpus Christi. However, it is the older version of a Corpus Christi, so it is definitely a two-bedroom, all right? It's not the... Um, it's not the, the more modern Corpus Christi where it's two bedrooms and a den. All right, so there's what the uh, roof looks like. A uh, little age on that roof. I mean, if this was my listing, I probably would have had somebody come over and um, pressure wash that roof. But it is what it is. So does look like it has some age to it. However, it might just be this tree that sits in front of this house. It's a big, huge tree. So let's walk around the outside of it first. You have some gutters, a screen over the garage. There's your stamped concrete. It's what the grass, it's a little dry. Might have some issues with the sprinkler system, I would imagine. So you asked if there was power lines in the back. No. Uh, it's a unique situation. I'll explain that in just a second. Uh, there's your air conditioner. 2013. All right, so there's a big, huge area back here that's owned by multiple people. It's kind of landlocked, actually. The villages just built all around this property and landlocked all the property. But it's just, there's no, there's no power lines or anything like that back here. It's just open land. There is a development over there. And I think that might be Spring Arbor, which Spring Arbor was a um, an employee neighborhood of the villages years back, many years back. So when I first started the villages in 2000, they were developing that area, if that is Spring Arbor. Okay, so you do, it looks like a Florida room is here and your lanai is over here. You do have a little patio slab. And we'll keep going around the outside. Hello. This is what the neighborhood looks like. So Rio Del Rio is a cul-de-sac. You can see that car kind of going around the cul-de-sac. So it's not like there's going to be a lot of traffic up and down this road. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. Little front porch area. This is kind of like the Amarillo. But it's a two bedroom version of the Amarillo. Let's see what we got here. So that car that just passed was another realtor that was looking at this house by the way. So I imagine they've had a lot of people looking today. All right, so let's go ahead and head on inside. Let me turn the lights on first and I'll be back. All right, let's go ahead and go on in. We have uh, some laminate flooring throughout much of the home. Eight foot flat ceilings. 
Now, that area right there, I'll explain a little bit. Today, that wall's completely gone, and there's a counter with cabinets underneath it. But in, when they built this home years ago, and I believe this is a 92, um, this is what they did. They actually put a, a wall, and really, this used to be, at one point in this home, was solid. So somebody, whether it's these homeowners or maybe, maybe previous homeowners, opened that up. But um, there's a lot of people who would completely take that wall out, put that counter space with the cabinet under there and cantilever this whole um, counter area all the way around. So this is what the kitchen looks like. Laminate countertops, laminate cabinets. Looks like they started to replace some of the appliances, the microwave and the dishwasher with the black stainless steel, uh, but never got over to um, replacing the refrigerator and the range and oven. All right, so here's the Florida room like we pointed out outside. So this can serve as an office or den. Out here is an enclosed lanai. They enclosed it with vinyl. So that's a plastic. No R value, no insulation value at all in it. It's just to keep the rain out of the out of this area. Okay, they have indoor outdoor carpet. Here's what the view looks like. I mean, they have this awning thing. I would get rid of that, but it faces west in the back. So the sun will come down this, this direction and then that awning is made to um, hinder some of the sunlight coming in. Uh, Okay, so insulated glass, which is nice, double pane insulated. You will arrive at your destination. So this area is the guest area. It is only a two bedroom, but again, we have the Florida room. Um, this is what the closet looks like. It is a walk-in closet, actually. These two bedrooms have extra space, so there is room for a closet, a walk-in closet. Laminate flooring continued in here. This is your guest bathroom. You have tile, uh, a pink counter. I would imagine it that they've replaced that counter space at some point. That was probably pink as well, originally. Tub shower combination. Okay. And then, like I said, it's a split floor plan. So the master bedroom is over here. On this side, this is your laundry room leading out to the garage. So your air handler is in here. Pretty quiet. This is your garage. Water heater. Utility sink. Pull down stairs. It's a full two car garage. Again, there's your screen over the front entrance of the garage. 
The water heater looks like it's been replaced recently. You have these steel braided lines. So it looks like it's been replaced recently. Some storage. So this is how it would it would feel as you're coming in. Because usually everybody comes in through the garage when they come home. Master bedroom. So they have, let's back up a little bit, there's tile. Some of the tiles cracked. Goes into the kitchen, into the laundry room. And then they replace the carpet with this laminate flooring. And this is what the master bedroom looks like. All right, with some wallpaper border. Speakers in the ceiling because at one point this um, this home probably had a uh, stereo system in it. We'll look at look for that in just a second. Tile in the master bath, corner shower. Exposed toilet, linen closet, single sink, and um, this is a big walk in closet here. Okay. All right, so that is your video tour of this home. There's that stereo system we were talking about. So we'll head out of here. This is uh, one last look as we leave and turn out all the lights. And there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video tour for you. And we got Christian waiting to take the camera and process this for you. I did shut the garage door, I hope. Looks like it, yeah. It's a red, red garage door. Okay. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour of uh, the home. And call us, let us know what you think.